So you want to find the strongest and best abilities in Pal World to put on your favorite pals. Well, you've come to the right place, because I'm going to be showing you exactly how to farm up epic rare and uncommon skill abilities to be able to put them on your favorite pals to make them more powerful than ever. There are quite a few really powerful skills in the game and I'm going to be showing you exactly how to farm all these up, all the locations for skill fruit trees, and everything you need to know. Now thankfully these skill fruits can be farmed up and can be taught to your favorite pals that otherwise might not be able to learn them. Like Ignis Rage here, I got Dark Laser which is 150 power, Hydro Laser which is another 150 power one. We got Implode, which is 180 power. The Fireball, which is another 150 power one. Blizzard Spike is 130 power, let alone all of the other rare ones that you can replace some of the weaker skills that are available on your pals. We got Flare Storm, which is really cool. Ignis Breath. We got Lightning Streak, Lock On Laser, Tri Lightning. There's a lot of really amazing abilities in Pal World. Now, the way this works is you can take one of these skill fruits and you right click them, and then you can select which pal you want to be able to learn that skill. Now you'll notice that I selected Dark Laser, which is a dark skill, and I can still teach it to any of my pals, whether it's a fire one, a grass one. This is fire and darkness, which I think is really interesting. Now obviously if you're specking out your pals to be proficient in fire type moves, you're gonna want to teach them fire type skills. But I really do appreciate that in Pal World you have the freedom to really equip your pals with whatever you want. It might be an interesting surprise to see a Lift Monk doing fire damage. It'd be a little weird, but it would definitely take somebody by surprise, especially when your Lift Monk has 909 attack power. If you want to get crazy, you can even teach PAL skill fruits to, say, the Black Marketeer, which has 86,496 health. I taught mine Spirit Flame, Acid Rain, and Dry Lightning, just for fun. Now, one thing to keep in mind is the CT number on these abilities. CT stands for cooldown time, and it's in seconds. So if you use Dark Laser, it's going to take 55 seconds before your pal can use it again. Now, another thing to keep in mind is I did teach this Lift Monk Hydro Laser, Dark Laser, and Spine Vine for fun. Now, Spine Vine can be used. It's got a cooldown time of 25 seconds. It can also use Hydro Laser. I've seen it use it a few times. Although, for some strange reason, I've never seen it use Dark Laser. Now, maybe they can't use Dark Skills. I'm not 100% sure. I've never seen it use it a single time, even though it does know it. So, I have a feeling there are certain abilities that you can still teach certain pals, but for some reason they won't actually use the ability. So if this is actually the way it is, I hope the developers change it so that if the pal can't actually use the ability, it can't be taught to it, or it could just be a bug, I'm not sure. Now the first thing we're gonna be covering is skill fruit trees, all of their locations and exactly how they work. Now skill fruit trees are these wonderful trees that have three skill fruits growing on them, and they look obviously very different from any other tree. There are quite a few of these around the world, and they can spawn any of these skill fruits fruits in the game. Now they do respawn over time, although I'm not 100% sure what the respawn timer is. I do know for a fact that it's over three hours. It could be four or five. I'm not 100% sure. Or the server might need to restart before they do respawn because the game is still a little bit buggy. But I harvested this tree about three hours ago and it still hasn't spawned. But the fruits do respawn, and you can use this method to farm them up. Now, any skill fruit tree, no matter where it is in the game, can spawn any of the potential skill fruits in the game. Although from my testing, it seems that skill fruit trees that are available in earlier parts of the game, say the entry zone here, has a lower chance of spawning the epic fruits than say if you go up farther north where the monsters are harder. Now that's not to say epic fruit can't spawn on the trees down here, but it seems the farther you get into the game, which means kind of further north you get, where the higher level pals are, there is just a higher chance of getting the epic quality fruits. Now there is no correlation between the type of fruit that you get. So you're not gonna go to the lava area and you're gonna be guaranteed to get fire skills. You can't go to the ice area to get ice skills. Any tree in the game can spawn any of the fruits at any point in time. Now let's go over all of the locations for the skill fruit trees in the game. The first skill fruit tree we're gonna go over is a bit of an outlier. Most of them have fast travel points near them, but so far I haven't been able to find a fast travel point near this particular one. So we're gonna go over this one first. If you open up your map, it is near this little lava zone, which is a little bit northeast of the starting area. There is a fast travel point here called the Sealed Realm of Swift. This is just above the Verdash 
boss fight. The time, this time that I'm harvesting it this time, I got a stone cannon, acid rain, and seed machine gun. Now, every time you harvest the abilities from these trees, they do have a chance of being something completely different. Next, we're gonna grab the fruit tree that is near the plateau of beginnings. If you just go a little bit north onto this little cliff right here, there is another fruit tree. This time, I'm going to get po poison blast, sand blast, and try lightning. I can see we got one blue one here. Try lightning is a power 90 electric type move. So you can still get rare abilities even at trees close to the entry zone. Next we're gonna head west into this little autumn area. The closest fast travel point I currently have is the small settlement and you can fly up the mountain to this location right here. Where I'm gonna get a spirit fire fruit, a stone cannon again, and a poison blast. All of these were uncommon fruits. But like we've said previously, it is completely random what you're going to get. Now we're going to head from this location and head even further west. There is a small cove fast travel point that you can pick up right here. And from this fast travel point, if you fly up the cliff or climb up the cliff or really whatever you want to do to get up said cliff, there's going to be another tree over here. Now I already picked up all of the fruits from this tree. I did get one rare one earlier today. This next one is going to be a little bit of a pain to get. We are going to be moving even further southwest. This is basically like a little volcano mountain that you're gonna need heat resistant armor to be able to traverse. There is ancient civilization ruins fast travel point right here, which I recommend picking up. And then you're gonna travel even further west up the mountain to the Mount Obsidian Anubis statue. Once here, you're gonna see a big statue that you need to run up to. And the tree you're looking for is gonna be just under it. From this location, I would recommend fast traveling to any of these particular fast travel points that you might have. If you have the investigator's fork fast travel point, there's like this big plateau here. And from the fast travel point, if you fly up to the top of this rock, that's where the next tree is. It's not at the tip of it, but it's more towards down like the little middle part of it. And I did harvest all of the fruits on this tree already. From the investigator's fork, we're gonna head northwest to the Forgotten Island Church Ruins. This is one of the islands that you can see from the beginning of the game. And from this fast travel point, if you look down into this little hole with the water in it, it's gonna be another tree. Here we got Flare Arrow, Iceberg, and another Spirit Flame. Now Iceberg is a rare ability with 70 power. From here you can travel southwest across the water to the Ruined Fortress City fast travel point. And if you fly west kind of up the mountains towards this big fortress here, there's going to be another skill fruit tree here. And this is actually where I started firstly getting my epic quality skill fruits. They can spawn anywhere, but I did get my first one from this tree. And it was the Blizzard Spike Skill Fruit with 130 power and a cooldown time of 45 seconds. Now we're going to go southeast to this location right here, which is kind of northwest of the Plateau of Beginnings. There is a fast travel point called the Mount of Floppy Summit. And from here, you're just going to want to go to this corner. If you fly up in the air, you can see the tree right from the fast travel point. Now be careful because there are bee guards here and those things do self-destruct. They're a little bit of a nightmare. So just kind of avoid them if you can. I got Ice Missile, another Tri Lightning, and Poison Blast. Now the next one often has these Free Pal Alliance people around it, and there is a ton of them here because of the way we have our server settings to spawn a lot more things than usual, which can be a lot more fun, but it's also significantly more deadly. There shouldn't be this many here when you come here for your first time, but just take them out and loot the tree. We got Air Cannon, Power Shot U, and Shockwave. If you go to the Marsh Island Church Ruins fast travel point, and then travel to this location here. If you go under this rock formation, there is another skill fruit tree. It's kind of next to the water here under this formation. I got stone cannon here, flare storm, and sand blast. Flare storm is actually one I've been looking for with a power of 80. If you go into the desert and use the sand dunes entrance fast travel point and fly to the top of this plateau, there's going to be a skill fruit tree up here. I got hydro laser, ignis rage, and nightmare ball. Ignis Rage is an epic ability with 120 power. Next, you're gonna need to head to the Sand Dunes. You can pick up another fast travel point here at Dune Shelter. And if you head north of there on the top of this plateau, there's going to be another skill fruit tree here. This time I got Water Bubble, Hydro Laser, and Dark Laser. The two lasers I got Hydro Laser and Dark Laser are epic abilities with 150 power. If you head west from this location, there is going to be another skill fruit tree directly across the water on top of this big plateau or just big old rock that's sticking out of the ground. And here I got Spine Vine, Dark Laser again, 
and Nightmare Ball. Nightmare Ball is actually pretty good with a hundred power. There is another skill fruit tree all the way in the north in the snow biome. The nearest fast travel point I could find is at the Palogenetic Research Unit Tower Entrance, which is way on top of the mountain. And then if you travel across the mountain and down in this little valley here or hole or whatever it is around all of these, there's another skill fruit tree here. I got Power Bomb and Implode. Implode is a neutral skill with 180 power. Now that does go over every ability tree that I have found in the game. I'm pretty sure it's every one in the game. If there is one that I've missed, please let me know in the comments below. We've both been searching high and low for every tree possible because it is the most efficient way to farm up the ability fruits. I just wish they respawned a little bit faster. So essentially what you're just going to want to do is fast travel to each of the locations that are close to these ability fruit trees, farm them up, and then wait for the respawn timer to be able to farm them again. I know it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but it's the best way to get the best fruit. Now there is one other way and that is actually going in caves, defeating the bosses and looting the chests at the end of caves. There is a chance for those chests to drop any of the quality as well, although it seems ability fruits are far rarer in caves than I would like. More often than not you're going to get gems that you can sell for money, although it is possible to farm the caves for ability fruits. It's not super efficient, but you will get all sorts of other things that are worthwhile to do, so I definitely recommend caving it up. That's actually what Luxara or Devil is doing right now. And the way the caves work is the further south you are, you're going to get more of the uncommon ability fruits. You can still get rare ones as well. About middle map right here, you're going to get rare and epic fruits if ones do drop. And in the most difficult caves, you have a higher chance of getting epics, but you're definitely going to get rare and epic fruits up here as well. But it's definitely going to lean more towards the epic fruits, when they do drop from these more difficult caves. But that's everything you need to know about ability fruits and how to acquire them in Palworld, and I'll see you all in the next one.